Shalom. All praises due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash, the bonus of the elect apostle bishops, elders at Great Most Stone. And we well, Shalom to the elect Hakel there doing this work in Syria and truth and not vainglory in season out of season. Uh, a lot of things these um, so called Christians, you know, in these churches don't really go into, uh, they don't go into prophecy. Especially vocab Malone, you know, but, um, uh, you know, somebody's going to have to play the role of slavery in the kingdom to come. Okay. All right. One people is going to rule over another people. One people is going to have another people in slavery. One people is going to be the rulers, the kings and priests, and the other people are going to be slaves. OK, you know, and it's many scriptures in the in the Bible about that. Many prophecies in the Bible about that. OK, so I'm going to just read one of the um, basic scriptures when you first come in this truth. OK, this is one of the scriptures you learn. OK, but it says a lot, too, you know. And it's a future prophecy that hasn't come to pass yet, but it will come to pass. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. So that's who the Lord is going to choose. That's who Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to choose. He's going to choose uh uh he's going to have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Okay, who are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? You know, and they don't, you know, they don't go into the topic of slavery, and you know, they don't, you know. They, they don't go into prophecies you know all right especially vocab malone all right he doesn't go into prophecies okay all right all he does all he tries to do is try to convince you so-called negroes latinos and native americans that you ain't the people of the lord that everybody can make it as long as they believe in the name of uh you know jc you know jesus christ you know what I'm saying? Which I hate saying that. You know? It says, and set them in their own land. Yeah, because we have a land, you so-called black man. So-called black woman. You so-called Latino man, Latino woman. You so-called Native American man and, and Native American woman. We have a land. And set them in their own land. Now, you know, your, grand, your grandfather's land down south... No, that's not what it's talking about. You know, it's it's no your your grandmother left you some uh, a house in 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 the south somewhere or or in um in the Caribbean somewhere in Jamaica. You know, you know. Oh yeah, I got some land in Barbados, so I got some land in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? That my grandmother had. You know, no, nah, the land is Israel. Like the scriptures say, Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Okay. All right. So that's it. It says, and set them in their own land. Okay. So see, because we're not in our land. Okay. We're in the land of America. We're in the land of um, Central America, South America, uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Barbados, Bahamas, uh, you know, you know, Puerto Rico, you know. West Africa, and we basically we were scattered through the four corners of the earth, just like out of scripture say. All right, so we we're gonna be set up in a land. Okay, that land is the land of Israel. Okay, in their own land. Okay, in their own land. Okay, which is Israel. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Israelite foreigners shall scatter through the four corners of the earth. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel, which are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, for servants and handmaids which are slaves, you know, which, which are slaves, 
you know, and a lot of these churches, these Christians and vocab Malone and Dr. James White and all that's they don't go into that. Who's going to be a listen? Somebody got to be the slave in the kingdom to build it up. Because it's, it's written all throughout the Bible. You know. All right. All right. Somebody has to build the kingdom up, physically. Brick by brick. OK. All right. Stone by stone. You know. You're going to have the kings. And you're going to have the slaves. And the, the kings and priests are going to be the Israelite men. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American men. Are the elect, starting with the elect first. And then when the other Israelites come through the seed of the elect Israelite men. Okay. Then they'll be kings and priests. Okay. All right. Because a king needs servants. Okay. A king always has servants to serve him. OK, and the king is going to be the so-called so-called black, Latino and Native American man. OK. You know, you West Indians, Haitians, you know, Puerto Ricans, Panamanians and Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Mexicans, Guatemalans. OK, Cubans, the whole 12 tribes. All right. It says. And they shall take them captives who captives they were, which is slavery, who captives we're going who is going to take captives who captives they were. OK. We were captives. I'm talking about the 12 tribes under the so-called white man and all the other heathen nations on the planet Earth. OK. The Africans, Arabs, East Indians, uh, Polynesians. OK. The Assyrians, you know, so-called Chinese, you know. Just read the scriptures. Okay. And they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And one of our main oppressors now is the so-called white man. Okay. This is his kingdom. The earth is given in the hand of the wicked, Job 924. And all the other heathen nations, because they are they're our oppressors as well. Okay. You see these Arabs, they're making all kind of money off you so-called Negroes. Selling weed out the store and, uh, 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 you know, um, ham sandwiches, heroes and <laughs> 40 ounces of beer and c cigarettes and, you know, it's making you so-called uh, Chinese. You, you got the liquor stores, you know, you, you, you Arabs, you know, you got the, uh, the, um, what do you call it? The bodegas. Grocery stores, you know, you know, I think I mentioned them already, you know, East Indians, you're selling all kind of fake. No, no, you're selling your hair for wigs for the so-called black woman. We're seeing an Haitian woman, you know, you're selling nail, fake nails and fake eyelashes. And you know what I'm saying? You know, so these heathen nations are our oppressors, you know. All right. Their businesses thrive while our businesses fail. So-called Negroes, Latinos and Americans businesses fail because that's the curses. But their businesses thrive because it's their time to oppress the Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You know. So, yeah, slavery is going to happen. OK. All right. We were slaves under the so-called white man, you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, and they're going to be slaves under you. Hope I'm edified and with that, shalom.